everyone, this is Sir Z and welcome back to Let's Get Science with Sir Z, one of our episodes here in Teach, Train, Transform YouTube channel. And this episode is for the grade 6 science learners and we are still in the first quarter. Our topic for today is based on the DEPID MELT and DEPID module from the DEPID Commons available for you to download and use is quarter number 1 module 2 lesson 2, separating mixtures through evaporation. So for our reference, of course, bilang DepEd learners and DepEd teacher, I will be using this material na ginagamit nyo rin sa inyong school or maybe ginamit para magmagawa ng learning activity sheet na inyong sariling teacher para sa inyong kopya. It is the uh, Science Quarter 1 Module 2 Lesson to Separate the Mixtures to Evaporation and we acknowledge the effort of the development team of the module na nagpagot para buuin ang module na ito para sa atin. So before we go ahead, let's do a pre-test or pre-activity test. And sa module, it is called What I Know. So if you have a copy, you can go ahead and go to that page para sabayan ako and get to know what is the correct answer. But our purpose is not to get the correct answer lang ha. Our purpose is to understand the content of our self-learning module. So for this activity, under what I know, the direction is write the letter of the correct answer. In my case, sa aking mga studyante, I asked them to encircle because yung binigay ko sa kanilang kopya ay kopya na talaga nila. So they just need to go ahead and answer directly sa kanilang kopya. So for the first question on our activity, it says here, What method is used to obtain salt from sea water? Ano daw ang method ng separating mixture ang ginagamit para ihiwalay ang asin, ang organic at natural na asin mula sa tubig dagat? The options are A. Decantation, B. Sedimentation, C. Evaporation, or D. Filtering. The correct answer is... Letter C. Evaporation. Mamaya may explain ko sa inyo kung bakit. Number 2, which of the following examples undergo evaporation process? Ano daw sa mga sumusunod na pagpipilian ang evaporation ang ipinapakitang process na nangyayari? Letter A, a pail of water under the heat of the sun. B, brushing your teeth after meal. C, ironing clothes every weekend. And D, listening to the radio. And the correct answer is letter A because it involves heat of the sun. Alam niyo naman ang evaporation, di ba? It involves yung pagpapainit para sumingaw or mag-evaporate yung liquid part. For the number 3, it is asking us, it is the main factor that causes evaporation process in separating mixtures. So if you understand the process of evaporation, ano sa pagpipilian daw yung factor na involved dito? A. Main factor ba dito ang water sa process ng evaporation? B. Heat ba? C. Smoke? Or D. Light? Of course, the answer is letter B. Heat. Kasi kailangan mo ng init para magawa ang evaporation process. For number 4, we have a situation si Princess daw accidentally natapon or spills a glass of water in the salt container or sa lalagyan ng asin. So she think of a solution and how she's going to recover the salt from the water. Siguro natunaw na yung asin sa tubig na natapon. What will Princess do to return the salt to its original face? A. She will wrap it with newspaper tightly. B. She will throw it away in the waste can. C. She will hide it in a dark corner. Or D. She will boil the solution. Boil is pakuluan. The correct answer, of course, is letter D. She will boil the solution because that's the first step para gawin yung evaporation process to separate mixtures. Number 5, another situation. While boiling water in a kettle, Gwen noticed that there are smoke coming from the spout of the kettle. Meron daw singaw or usok na lumalabas sa bibig ng takore. He asked his mother, why did the smoke rise upward? Bakit daw tumataas ito? What do you think will be the answer? A. Because the water reached its cooling point. B. Because the water reached its boiling point. C. Because the water is heated and become vapor or became vapor. Or D. Because the water is freezing. The correct answer, of course, is letter C because the water is heated and later on it became vapor na nakikita niyang tumataas in the form of steam or uso. We're going to do an overview class of our discussion today. Bago natin siya himay-himayin ay titingnan natin siya ng malakihan para magkaroon tayo ng big picture bago tayo magsimulang mag-discuss. 
So dahil pag-uusapan natin ay separating mixtures using the process of evaporation, tingnan muna natin yung kabuo ang listahan ng mga iba't ibang paraan ng paghihiwalay ng mixture. Ang una dito ay yung peaking or mechanical dahil gumagamit tayo ng gumagalaw na bagay para paghiwalayin ang mga mixture. Isa dito ay ang ating kamay. We can do this with solid to solid mixtures or solid to liquid mixture. Ito naman ay yung evaporation na magiging topic natin today which involves the use of heat para pakuluan ng liquid and solid mixture tapos matatanggal yung liquid in the form of steam or vapor at may iwanan yung solid residue na gagamitin mo for your experiment or your purpose. It can be from the heat of the sun din ang source ng ating init tulad ng ginagawa natin sa pagseseparate ng tubig mula sa ating sinampay. Siyempre kailangan natin yung solid part ng tuyo at hindi basa. Ito rin ang paraan na ginagawa sa pagkuha ng natural sea salt, yung rock salt na tinatawag na pag tinignan mo may itim-itim. That's because that is a natural salt from the nature. At galing ito sa tubig dagat na pinatuyuan yung liquid para mawala yung tubig at maiwanan yung solid residue at yun nga yung asin sa ilalim ng araw. Next one is decantation at ito ang paraan ng pagbubuhos ng isa sa mga parte ng mixture. Of course, it involves liquid ang ibinubuhos but this can be done on a mixture of solid and liquid materials or liquid to liquid materials na immiscible or ayaw maghalo tulad ng oil and water. Filtering, sifting, and sieving are pare-parehong paraan ng pagsasala. Iba't ibang paraan nga lang ng pagsasala at iba't ibang uri ng mixture ang sinasala. Filtering involves liquid and solid residue tulad ng ginagawa natin sa ating gripo para lumabas kahit papano ay malinis na tubig at naiwanan yung mga latak-latak doon sa ating ginamit na pang filter. Sifting and sieving ay magkatulad na paraan. Pareha silang solid to solid mixture ang pinaghihiwalay. Ang pagkakaiba lang, ang sifting ay para sa mga pinong-pinong bagay na kailangan natin tulad ng harina, asin, asukal, habang ang sieving naman ay para sa mga malalakihang solid mixtures tulad ng bato at buhangin na kung saan kailangan mo yung pinong buhangin para sa yung gagamitin sa construction. Distillation is a process of separating mixtures of liquid to liquid na miscible. Ibig sabihin, naghalo talaga sila. Ang problema, kailangan mo yung isa sa kanilang dalawa. Ang parang ito involves two different process. Yung una ay evaporation na pag-usapan natin ngayon kung saan pinapainitan. At yung unang kukulot magiging steam ay aangat na palalamigin sa condensation naman na part ng procedure para bumalik sa liquid form at pumunta or lumipat dun sa ibang lalagyan. Sedimentation ay simply pagpapakalma ng mga solid residue sa isang liquid mixture. So basically, hayaan mo lang siya para kumalma at bababa yung mga mabibigat na part. Crystallization is somewhat similar to sedimentation. Ang pagkakaiba lang nito ay hindi mo lang basta pinapakalma yung solid residue kundi meron kang ginagamit para kapitan nila at doon sila magkikristallize ng sama-sama. Winnowing is a technique in separating mixtures gamit ang wind, either natural wind or blowing wind kung saan tinatangay ng hangin ang magagaan na bagay para mahiwalay dun sa mabibigat na bagay na maiiwanan. Sa example natin, ito ay sa bukid na ginagawa ng ating tatay nanay, lola, lolo, kung saan yung ipa ng palay na magaan ay tinatangay ng hangin at maiiwanan yung bigas na mas mabigat at yun ang kailangan mo. May bagong technique dyan class which is called threshing kung saan ganun din ang principle o gamit pa rin ang hangin kung saan tinatanggal yung magagaan na parts which is yung ipanga o yung balat ng palay at naiiwanan yung bigas at nailalagay doon sa sako dahil sila ay mas mabigat. Another technique is using a magnet or yung paggamit ng magnet para mahiwalay ang metal to non-metal objects. So, technically experiment, ginagawa natin to sa mga simpleng bagay. Sa industrial level, ginagamit ito para sa kanilang trabaho or pagkuha ng mga materials na kanilang gagamitin. Yung nakikita nyong kulay black sa picture ay mga iron filings na nakahalo actually sa buhangin which is a natural element dahil ang mga bakal naman class na ginagamit sa manufacturing ng ating mga gamit ay nanggagaling sa nature. Next one is using a separating funnel which is parang decantation na kung saan binubuhos mo yung isa. In this case, it is a liquid to liquid immiscible mixture, hindi magkahalong liquid. Pero pagkakaiba nito sa decantation again is that yung decantation binubuhos mo sa taas, yung ihiwalay mo. But with this one, ang kukunin mo para ihiwalay ay yung nasa ilalim. That's why it is called separating funnel. 
And we also have one separating technique na ginagawa natin sa school. It is called chromatography. At yung nasa picture ay example ng activity sa school na ating ginagawa for our experiment. Chroma means color but technically hindi lang kulay ang ginagamitan ng chromatography because ang scientific definition ng chromatography ay pagwa-wash out. So tinatangay yung mga components at habang tinatangay siya, naghihiwa-hiwalay. Kung sino yung mas magagaan, siya yung pinakamalayo. Yung mabibigat, siya yung unang naihihiwalay. And those are some of the many methods to separate mixtures na pwede natin gawin. There are many more others, pero kakailanganin na ng mga more sophisticated tools na wala tayo para ma-perform natin. But today, we will be focusing on evaporation or using heat energy para ma-separate ang solid to liquid mixture. What is evaporation? Evaporation class is a process where liquid changes into gas with the use of heat. So alam niyo naman, di ba, na kapag may liquid tayong pinakuluan, kapag ito ay nagbo-boil na, nag steam siya. So yung evaporation is focused on doon sa process na nag steam yung liquid part. The gas form of liquid is called vapor, by the way, or steam. So vapor or steam, yun ang tawag natin dun sa liquid na nag-change into gas form. So sabi niya dito, when the molecules in a liquid are heated, they move faster and collide with each other, becoming so far apart. When you say collide class, nagbabanggaan. At pag nagbanggaan sila, syempre tumitilapon, kaya mas lalo silang nagkakalayo. Kaya nga mas magaan at mas invisible ang matter na gas compared to liquid and solid. Sabi rin dito, evaporation causes physical change in the presence of heat. So yung evaporation, physical change na nangyayari because of heat. Ano ba yung physical change? Ito yung solid magiging liquid, liquid magiging gas and so on and so forth because the physical state of matter yung solid liquid gas ay under physical changes yan some examples of evaporation na ito yung kumukulong tubig or yung pagpapatuyo ng silampay at yung pagkatuyo ng paligid matapos ng ulan dahil sa init ng araw So now that you know the basic idea about evaporation, yun nga yung paggamit ng init para maging steam or vapor ang liquid part, matuyo yung nasa ibaba na may iwan, yung solid part. Let's practice what we have learned so far. So this came from your self-learning module under what's more. Direction says, read down the conditions stated in the box, pick out those that undergo evaporation process, and write your answer in your notebook. Sabi doon sa ating module. But since kung kopya nyo na talaga yung binigay ni teacher at sinabi niya, answer directly on the module, you may go ahead and answer it dyan mismo sa module na hawak niyo. So ano ba sa mga ito ang example na evaporation process ang nangyayari? So we got a timer that is set for 60 seconds for actual session but for the meantime in this recording 15 seconds lang tayo para makatipid sa oras. So we're now down to 5 seconds for this tutorial. And there you go. Sa real time, kapag online session nyo or face-to-face -face session gamit ang projector, it's supposed to be 60 seconds. So ano nga ba sa mga ito ang evaporation process ang nangyayari? Let's answer. Basically, ito ang mga yon: Drying of sand after the rain, drying of wet floor, drying of plate after washing, cooking rice then of course dahil matutuyo ang bigas habang niluluto, cooling after sweating or yung pagtuyo ng pawis kapag nalamigan na tayo, and salt making tulad ng picture na pinakita natin kanina. But, if magbibigay tayo ng consideration then we also have cooking noodles and boiling mongo seeds because there is evaporation involved kapag nagluluto ka ng noodles at ng mongo seeds. But na totally nga lang na matutuyo yung may iwang solid form of course. So let's do the assessment that is from your module para may apply natin ang ating natutunan at masagutan yung inyong module for the weekly activity. So this is more of a multiple choice question. For the first question, Lester noticed that the water in a container with a plant becomes less as the days goes by. What do you think is the reason behind this? The Lester daw napapansin na yung tubig sa isang lalagyan na may halaman, unti-unti ay nauubos or kumukunti yung tubig. Ano daw sa tingin nyo yung reason dito? A. Some insects took the water. B. Water in the container was not changed. C. Water evaporated because of heat. And D. The plant has a stem. 
The answer for this of course is letter C, water evaporated because of heat. So kahit hindi mo pakuluan ng tubig, basta iniwanan mo at mainit yung lugar na pinag-iwanan mo, natural, yun ay mag -e evaporate ng unti-unti. So for number 2, we got which of these examples show evaporation process as technique in the separation of the mixtures. So meron tayong A, drying of water on the table, B, flooding of water in the river, C, cooling of water in the refrigerator, or D, freezing of water in the ocean. Ano sa kanila ang evaporation ang nangyayari? For this one, the correct answer is letter A because of the clue that says drying of water. Drying or pagtuyo. For number three, we got so for number three, we got what technique will Jocelyn use if she will separate salt mixed with water in a container? Parang ito na rin yung ginawa natin kanina or diniscuss natin kanina about paano kukunin yung salt doon sa salt water. A. Filtering B. Evaporation C. Picking or D. Sedimentation Of course, the answer for that one is letter B, evaporation. Or pagpapainit sa kanya para yung liquid part ay mag-evaporate at maiwan yung solid residue. In this case, sa situation, yung salt. For number four, in the evaporation process, liquid becomes blank when heated. So sa evaporation process daw, yung liquid ay magiging ano kapag pininitan. A, solid. B, ice cubes. C, plasma. Or D, vapor. Of course, ang tamang sagot dyan na binanggit natin kanina ay yung vapor. Bakit vapor at hindi gas lang na term? Kasi when you say vapor or yung steam, meron siyang liquid part din na masyadong maliit para makita. Meron kasi mga gas na walang liquid part. More on, yung element lang talaga tulad ng oxygen, element lang yon. Pero kapag yung sumingaw ay may kasamang mga tubig-tubig na particles na lumulutang, vapor ang tawag doon. Parang sa katulad din sa pabango, pag in-spray mo or yung pang-spray ng pampatay ng insekto, may mga liquid part yun na lumulutang. So, basta ganon, vapor. Pero kung yung liquid particles na yun na lumulutang ay nagmula sa pinakuluang liquid, steam ang tawag doon. For the number 5, it is the process of separating mixtures which involves heating, leaving the solid residue behind in the container. So, anong process daw yun? That, that involves heating at naiwanan yung solid part. A. Evaporation. B. Precipitation. C. Distillation. Or D. Sedimentation. Of course, obviously, that is letter A, evaporation. Basta may pinakainit at natuyo at naiwanan yung solid part, evaporation ang tawag doon. And for the part 2, put a check mark if the technique used is evaporation or cross down X if not. So, check kapag evaporation ang ginamit, X kapag hindi. So this is for the number 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 because the assessment is actually 10 items all in all na divide lang siya sa dalawa. Yung kanina yung 1 to 5, ito naman yung 6 to 10. So check kapag evaporation, X kapag hindi evaporation ang tinutukoy sa numbers. Timer starts, 60 seconds during the actual session but for this recording, we will just run it for 15 seconds. Timer starts, let the answering begin. We're now down to the last three seconds. And there you go. Let's go ahead and answer this. Ano nga ba sa kanilang evaporation ang pinapakita? Ano ba ang hindi? And the correct answers are this. Water cycle, of course, involves evaporation. Alam na natin yan kahit pa ng grade 4 tayo. Using cellphone, wala namang evaporation yan. Ganon din ang pag-pulling a chair or paghila ng upuan. Pero yung drying of hair, doon sa number 9, at yung boiling kamote, of course, meron dyan involved na heat at pagpapatuyo or pagpapakulo. So, meron siyang evaporation. Both of them are answered with check marks. So there you have it, grade 6 science team, grade 6 science learners, good job because you were able to go through the entire discussion of that module, of that topic about evaporation. Sinamarize ko lang at dinagdagan ko ng konti to enrich the discussion but what's important is that nag-get nyo yung idea which is evaporation is liquid tinatanggal mo sa mixture gamit ang init. Could be a heat source na ikaw nagbigay or heat source na binibigay ng init ng araw. And that wraps it up guys. Let's get science with Cersei is done for this episode and for this particular topic. I hope that you hit that like button to appreciate what we did. And if you learned something and also consider subscribing not just for our channel but of course para makapagpatuloy tayo ng discussion natin next time ng mga susunod na lesson at topics. Once again, this is Cersei, grade 6 science learners. Continue learning. Stay safe everyone. For the meantime, class dismissed.